Hi everyone, so today I would like to talk about the silky bow. So a lot of times I do this basic um, exercise to make the string crossing a lot smoother. And we are going to start with DNA first because it's the easiest string to adjust. So whenever we do the string crossing, we have to think about how much elbow lift you're going to do. So you don't want to exaggerate. Like when we do the D string to A string, you don't want to go. This is too abrupt and too dramatic. So we want to make the minimal angle move and then make it as smooth as you can. So look at how much I move for my elbow. For my elbow, I barely move. So the less you move, the better it'll be. It's gonna sound more natural and seamless. So try to do a few times. If you have your cello out with me, Please do these exercises with uh, together so that you get the feeling. So your elbow is helping you. And then once your elbow is up slightly, after that, it's just a farther movement for your forearm. Just this part. It's not all the way, your arm stays, your upper arm stays where you are, and then just the forearm, just farther out. So imagine that your bow is seamlessly going farther away, all the way. So do a few exercises to between D string to A string, and try to do the other way around, A to the D. That's gonna be a different uh, feel to it. Once you master it, then we can move on to D string and G string. And the last thing you're going to do is between G string and C string because that's the most adjustment you have to make. So G string and C string. So you have to adjust a lot and try to feel how much you move. And also how much weight you put in. So because it's the most thickest string, you have to use most weight. But then I'm not talking about lifting your shoulder and try to press it. You have to really let it go your arm. So all the weight of your arm is going into your bow and that delivers the string and then sound post and voila, it rings. So try to do... upper movement force like a D to A, G to D, and then G, C to G, and try to do the other way around as well. And when you switch the direction, you will actually feel how different it is and how much you really have to be aware of your movements. So I hope it was helpful and I do these exercises a lot in beginner classes. So. Um, Try to experiment and play along with me and see how much you actually have to move. So depending on your height, your cello size and everything, so many factors affect the, the way you play. So everybody has a different answer. So try to feel how much you have to adjust and make a change. So I hope it was helpful. And if you liked it, please um, subscribe and come again. Thank you. Bye.